On the surface, Echo, a Marvel series on Disney Plus, is about a deaf teen who returns to her hometown where she comes to terms with her past and connecting with her Native American roots. Behind the scenes, Indigenous people like director Sydney Freeland are leading the storytelling, creating more representation. Earlier this week, I sat down with actress Devery Jacobs, who plays Bonnie, the cousin of the lead character, who's on her own journey as well. Sweet. All right. So. Echo, it is so historic on so many levels. The series features the first Marvel show centered on a deaf Native American amputee superhero. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. How does it feel to be a part of something so special? It feels really incredible. I mean, I've been a fan of the MCU for like so many years and, and have always wanted to be a part of it. And then to be able to be in a show like Echo, working with Alakwa Cox, who has become a legend in her own right, is honestly great. And even though it is about like a deaf indigenous amputee, that like, even though we might look like we're checking these boxes, I think ultimately the series is really about family and is a, a gritty crime noir family drama and, and is ultimately just like a really good story. When you first found out that you got this role, what was your reaction? What went through your mind? Oh my gosh, I mean, it was like, I really wanted it and it was a really long process to get it. Uh, I think it was kind of like a typical process of the MCU where even though the character I play, Bonnie, is fictitious and she w wasn't in the comic books prior to it, and so there were auditions and the added element of learning ASL on top of it and making sure that I was able to sign some scenes with Alakwa and make sure that we had good chemistry and really read as these, as these cousins who are so close that they're more like sisters. That's really awesome. So you mentioned your character, Bonnie. Tell us a little bit more about her. Bonnie is really full of heart. She is so incredibly close with Maya Lopez. And when Maya's ripped away to New York City, Bonnie is heartbroken and she's lost her cousin. And when Maya comes back into town, the version of Maya that Bonnie sees in front of her isn't necessarily recognizable. She's somebody who isn't the lighthearted cousin she knew. She's a killer. She is someone who is now wanting to be Queen Pin. And so I think there's a lot of reckoning for Bonnie happening and, and a lot of mourning who her cousin was, but also reminding her and, and bringing her back into the community and what family and unconditional love really looks like. Mm, yeah, we can definitely see it. So in the series, there are indigenous people in front of the camera and also behind the scenes. How important was that to have that type of environment on set? It was incredible to be able to have a project like that. I mean. I come from indie film, Sydney Freeland comes from indie film. I think so many of the people behind the camera, some of the writers, we are all from our communities and never thought we would have an opportunity to have a project in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, and so, yeah, just being able to look around, especially on the historic sets with like mm -hmm. the first Choctaw woman Chaffa or with Loak in the, in the stickball scenes and, and getting to see Native people, yes, in front of the lens and as actors, but also as creatives was, was something that just made it feel that much more special and meaningful, especially since we did it in collaboration with the Choctaw Nation and, and made sure we were telling the story in tandem with them every step of the way. It really, makes a difference from taking it from the idea of what it means to be a Native person to really us telling our own stories and, and aspects from our own communities and cultures. And, and I think that's really beautiful. So Lily Gladstone just made history as the first Native American actress. I'm sure you're aware. Yeah. And only fourth Indigenous actress ever to be nominated for an Oscar. When you hear that, what does that mean to you? I mean, I think it's twofold. I think hearing that she's only the first Native American actress to be nominated for Best Actress makes me feel infuriated because I'm like, we've had so many talented actresses out there that like, it's only now happening mm. in 2024. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's an outrage. But also at the same time, I couldn't be happier for Lily and also for the Blackfeet community and for the Osage Nation. I think that it's about damn time. Not that you're not busy at all, but I, I know you're, you're in high demand. You're, you're doing a lot, but what's next? 
So what's next? I have a movie coming out in the spring. I had a film premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival last year. It's called Backspot. And I've been working on that film for over six years now as a producer. And I had a chance to film it last year. It's a queer, dramatic cheerleading film. I act opposite Evan Rachel Wood in it. And it's executive produced by Elliot Page and his production company, Page Boy Productions. I used to be like a provincial champion gymnast, which a lot of people don't know about me. and. I haven't really had a chance to explore physical roles like that or the character that I play in Backspot uh, named Riley. And a Backspot, by the way, is like the bottom of the pyramid. Usually when people think about cheerleading, they think about the flyer and the woman who's being lifted in the air. Yeah. And people don't think about who like the bases are, mm -hmm. who's the foundation of it. And so we, we kind of flip that on its head. Backspot in the spring. <laughs> Come back. Come back and see us. Yes. Well, congratulations on absolutely everything that you're doing. You're doing a phenomenal job in representing a community that needs that type of representation. So kudos to you. Awesome. Thank you so much <laughs> for having me. So lovely to meet Devery. Our thanks to her for sharing her story. You can stream the limited series Echo on Disney+. Plus. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.